the museum system in rise of kingdoms is two years old already can you guys believe that relics were announced for rise of kingdoms in update 1.0.54 which was first announced on the official rise of kingdoms channel on january 14th of 2022 and then if you fast forward to march 9th of 2023 this is when i first covered the museum 2.0 changes which obviously brought about the second tier relic for all the season one and gold key commanders as well as the announcement of season two relic buffs so in this video today i want to talk about three different things first of all if and when we'll see relics for season three commanders which we're going to talk about in just a minute but i also want to talk about the possibility of season two commanders getting their second relic upgrade and what that could mean for those commanders and third could we possibly see a third relic tier for season one commanders but first what's going on guys cheers okay now the first thing i want to talk about is sort of the precedent that has been set for the relic upgrades here in rise of kingdoms now when they released or announced or first discussed the season two relics coming to rise of kingdoms they suggested that these wouldn't be the last relics that were added to the game and myself as well as many other people suggested okay well that means that every year or every set period of time we're going to see a new batch of relics come into the game for a whole new set of commanders and this could potentially be Lilith's way of bringing a lot of commanders up to the same sort of tier and I think that that's a really cool system however they never actually said that we would guaranteed be seeing more relics for let's say Guan Yu for example what they could have meant by the fact that we will be getting new relics later in the line is things like Thutmos, okay? Or things like Pyrus, for example. What they could have meant is that the season two commanders are the last like generation of commanders that get the relics but they'll continue to add relics for new gold key commanders so for example in this coming summer I suspect we're going to be seeing a new civilization just like we have seen for the last few years and the developers have already hinted at the fact that it will probably be potentially a Mayan civilization that's kind of what all the evidence is pointing towards so I just want to be very clear that we may never see relics for season three commanders but some of them definitely need a relic upgrade and that's what we're going to talk about in this video and what I would like to see for those commanders and what buffs that they could get but the other thing that I want to talk about is sort of the speed with which these relics are coming into the game and first of all there was announced a Wu Zetian relic and it is literally still not in the game almost a year later it's still not here and we only recently got the relics for Tamiris and Edward of Woodstock and so what I want to pose uh, to you guys as my opinion is that I think these relic upgrades are coming way too slow to the game because at this point by the time we got the Tamiris and Edward of Woodstock relics it had already been like what nine months since we first learned about the season two relics if not longer I'm pretty sure we got these at the same time that we got Liu Che if I'm not mistaken so in that time we had already seen a bunch of new commanders come into the game which further makes these relic upgrades even more pointless now I'm not saying Tamiris's relic for example is bad in fact this is actually a really 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 good relic especially for Tamiris and now that she kind of has some sort of support with Herman Prime but what I would like to see moving forward is a, a faster release cycle for these relics and honestly I'm not really sure why they decided to release them slowly over time because my understanding is that the relic system is a way to sort of bring weaker commanders back up to par and it's not like you know Edward of Woodstock and Tamiris were the, the commanders that needed this the least they definitely needed this upgraded just as badly as Salad and, Gen and Genghis Khan for example at least in my opinion so I would like to see the new batches of relics be dropped all at the same time or maybe they could do all of the mightiest governor relics all at once and then they could do all of the wheel of fortune commanders all at once maybe three months later or something like that if they want to break it down like that but I feel like releasing these you know every couple of months it's 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 too slow because these commanders are already outdated and then if you have to wait nine months for their sort of buff then they're even more outdated by the time that it comes right so I would like to see these relics come a bit faster moving forward especially because again Wu Zetian where is her relic we already know it exists and I suspect that we'll probably see it with the next commander cycle release which I think will probably be a sort of ranged leadership hybrid that's what I think we're going to see for the next commander cycle and perhaps we'll see Wu Zetian's relic drop at that point but let's just assume for a moment that the season three commanders are also 
also going to be eligible for getting their own relic upgrade now if you guys are new to the game you might not remember this but in season three there were commanders exclusive to that season just like there are season of conquest commanders or season two commanders and back then the commanders that were in the season three bracket were Attila with Takeda Guan Yu with Leonidas Artemisia with Ramses and I'm also going to throw in Theodora and YSS because this was if I remember correctly the first time that we got a leadership cycle now of course this has since changed all of those commanders were pushed up into the season of conquest bracket and I think it's reasonable to see why right like commanders like Attila or commanders like Guan Yu are still quite powerful in rise of kingdoms and especially Guan Yu for example like you can still argue that he's one of the best infantry commanders in the game right now so I think compared to the season one and two commanders this bracket of commander doesn't really need a relic as badly as the previous brackets but I do think that some of them really do fall short so in this video let's go over what I think these commanders should get for their hypothetical relic upgrade if they do ever get one first let's start with Attila and if you look at his kit obviously he is the normal damage King okay he is like the number one commander that you think of when you think of a slow burning normal damage commander over time he basically broke the game with Takeda when they came out it was insane these days I think you know this pairing still has you know really good uses but I think it's a little bit outdated here and I think if we look at the kit on Attila alone one thing you're going to notice is that the only stats he has is cavalry attack he doesn't have any other any anything basically so I'd like to see Attila get maybe 10 percent cavalry defense I think it's it's a little bit of a bump in terms of his uh, tankiness right but it's not so much that he would be like overpowered right and I think that that's kind of the 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 fear with these season three commanders is that if they get too powerful of a relic then they're actually they could be broken right so also I would give him maybe five percent skill damage taken reduction now he already has skill damage taken reduction on his third skill he takes 15 percent less skill damage let's bump that up to 20 percent and just make him slightly more tanky with the with the defense and I think overall he's still pretty much a complete package moving on to Takeda he's really interesting he's all about the burning status that he inflicts on the target and he makes them take more normal attack damage which is why him and Attila are basically a match made in heaven but if you look at Takeda's kit he actually has a lot of stats he literally has 40% attack and 40% defense which is actually insane so really from a stat perspective I feel like he's he doesn't really need anything else so what I would do to make Takeda a little bit more interesting is on the third skill I would bump the healing factor up by a hundred so instead of 150 healing factor every second for four seconds I would make it 250 healing factor every second for four seconds I think that would just make it make him have a little bit more sustain and I think that could be really interesting maybe that's actually broken I have no idea idea but a little bit more healing factor I think would be nice and also I would give him five percent March speed and the reason for this is because yes he has a chance to gain 30 percent which is insane but he actually has no March speed at all on his kit just generic which I think is a little bit weird because he does have the mobility tree now he is already cavalry and typically he's paired with Attila who already does have I think what 15 percent March speed so being a cavalry commander he's already pretty fast so I feel like he doesn't need that much March speed but five percent I think would be a nice little bump for him next we'll move on to Leonidas and I think this is one of the commanders that desperately needs a relic I think he needs a buff like crazy okay and I think one thing that they could do to start would be to double his AoE damage factor I think give this a plus 600 damage factor so that way his total AoE is 1200 and that's still which is kind of funny it is still a really weak AoE if even if they double this right now he does still gain 30 percent health here and if the target is silenced it will give it 50 percent 50 percent more damage so I think that that could really push the boundary as to how much damage he could output here right so if you pair him with Guan Yu and his base goes up to 1200 then that means the extra 50 percent would bump that up to 1800 which is the same as Artemisia which would put him on the same caliber as those commanders plus a nice little buff here but if you don't pair him with Guan Yu 
then it's a 1200 three target aoe which is you know it's still pretty weak the second thing that i would do because he has the defense tree i wanted to lean in towards the defense factor of him and i would actually have him take 10 percent less skill damage i think that that would be nice give him a little bit more tankiness especially if you paired him with guan yu again in the open field but i think there's also an argument to be made here that leonidas's number one achilles heel we'll say is that he's super slow so i i would say either give him 10 percent skill damage taken reduction or give him like 10 or 15 percent march speed i think that that would be really nice especially because he is like he's a spartan okay and they're known for their infantry they're known for being one of the most formidable infantry units in all of human history and so i think that them moving faster in the open field would make sense although i guess you could argue that the phalanx formation was more about defense rather than mobility so i don't know but either way i i would i would take either i would either take the skill damage taken reduction or some march speed that would be nice and i think maybe some people would start to use him again at 5511. next up is guan yu and i feel like guan yu was one of the commanders that needs a relic the least i think he's just he's still solid in the open field yes there's still something to be desired here but at the end of the day he's still a really good infantry commander so what would i do to just bump guan yu up a little bit well i would first of all give him 10 percent infantry health i think right now he only has infantry attack and it's less attack than other commanders like cpo prime for example who has a flat 40 percent with 15 percent march speed guan yu only has 30 percent with 15 percent march speed and a little bit of a healing factor that's fair but i think he needs a little bit of tankiness and i also would bump his march speed up by five percent i would give him a, a five percent march speed bonus which would bring this up to 20 percent and i think that again that would put him on par with cpo who also has more march speed right he has 15 percent but when he's outside territory he has 25 percent i think that having a flat 20 on guan yu would kind of be a nice middle ground there and also this would be great for all those free-to-play players that invested in guan yu giving him a really solid relic would just make them feel even better about making this investment all those years ago and i think that that would be that would go a really long way with you know making the community feel good about their previous investments next up is art amnesia and this is another one of those commanders that still performs pretty well in the open field i would say guan is a little bit more powerful but if you pair art amnesia with Boudica prime you're gonna have a really good time she's solid she's got tanky stats nice aoe nice um you know when you remove the self silence you get a nice bonus here to damage which is great so really she doesn't need that much of a bump here but i do feel like there's a little bit of area for improvement now first of all she has defense and health I would give her 10% archer attack on her relic. I think that that's a really small upgrade, but it's a stat that she doesn't have on her kit yet. And I think that would be really nice. And then on top of that, because again, she has the defense tree, I would make her a little bit more tanky. I would give her 5% normal damage taken reduction. Okay. I think that that is fair. That makes her a little bit more tanky. And you know, if you wanted to see, here's the thing, right? Like with Leonidas, I could see them giving him March speed for Artemisia. As much as I would love her to have March speed in the open field, being a a garrison commander i just don't really think that they're going to do that i don't think they typically ever give garrison commanders any amount of march speed right i could be completely wrong about that so i think that, you know a march speed relic on artemisia would be nice but i think it's unlikely i think what's more likely is that they make her even more tanky and i think you know right now with liu che being so powerful i think having her take five percent less normal damage would be would be really good next up is ramses and ramses is interesting because he's there's nothing about his kit that's particularly particularly bad he just doesn't do any one thing super well and he's also an attack tree commander so he's a very like just he's just a very okay commander i would see he's like a solid like b commander like he's, he's he doesn't do anything special there's just so many other commanders to be investing in that you, you never really would go for ramses but i think that we should change that i think if ramses got and by the way he already has a ton of stats 40 percent attack which is insane a 10 percent chance to gain 40 percent more attack and 40 percent march speed which is wild and he has a chance to gain 40 percent defense so he does have a lot of ways to get stats and he does generally really have a lot of stats but I think if they gave him 10 percent archer health I think that would be nice I think you know the chance for defense isn't as great as actually just always having tanky stats so give him 10 percent archer health I think that would be fine and then give him 15 percent march speed I want to see I want to see Ramses do something I want to see him move around the map okay and that's the thing is with his active skill it deals 2000 damage factor to a single target and it has a really nice defense reduction with 30 percent for two seconds but the thing is that he has to stay connected for those two seconds and that's not as bad as commanders like frederick or commanders like sargon for example but it is still unfortunate that it ticks over two different turns and i think if you gave him 15 percent march speed on top of the fact that he can get 40 percent march speed i 
think maybe if he was just really fast in the open field then people would use him right and I think that that's one of the things that archers are missing right now a lot of the archers right now are really slow and I think that that's a huge problem for archers so I think it would be cool if maybe maybe that's the niche that a Ramses could fill he could be the fast archer and I think maybe people would start to use him a little bit more then we come into Theodora and Theodora when she came out was interesting she has this on her expertise she can dispel poison which I think is going to be even more important now than ever and she's also a generic garrison so unlike YSS she never really got as much um, playtime. I think YSS still to this day you see in a garrison sometimes, but I think the stats on Theodora were just too low. Now, if you have her expertise, she has a five target circular AOE with 1700 damage factor and a really powerful cleanse. So I actually don't think that, you know, the damage factor I don't really think is that big of a problem here. I think her active skill is great. What I think she needs is just more stats. She has such small amount of generic stats here that I would give her 20% more attack. Okay. Uh, Cause she only has 10% and I would also give her 20% health just generic health okay because then that brings her up to 30% attack 20% health 10% defense and then all the other things that she has on her kit would that be enough to bring her back well who knows I mean with this cleanse maybe that could be enough to make her see a little bit of use but even still I feel like you know maybe that's not enough I don't know maybe she still needs more maybe it needs to be 25 25 I don't know and finally we have E Soon Sin and again he kind of falls into the same category as like Artemisia where like he's still kind of used so you don't really need to bump him up that much but I do think that with like Heraclius coming into the game and stuff like that you do see him a little bit less frequently and I think they should give him 10% skill damage okay that means whatever you pair him with you know his skill damage is solid but if you pair him with somebody else who does a ton of skill damage then that could be really really good as well so 10 percent skill damage bonus is just going to make him hurt a little bit more and also have him take five percent less normal damage and again this is a, a kind of a response to liu che but really it's just a way to make him a little bit more tanky without him being like busted right he's already solid he's already still good I'll just give him a little bit more tanky stats and i think that would be nice okay next i want to talk about the possibility of getting new tiers for the season two commanders in rise of kingdoms but before i do that if you made it this far into the video i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it and consider subscribing it really helps out the channel a ton that's how this video gets out in the algorithm it's greatly appreciated and it's free with that being said let's move on to saladin okay saladin's relic is a little bit underwhelming and i guess it makes sense because saladin himself is still a pretty solid commander he's like decently tanky in the open field but i think at this point with kuo and with nevsky in the game he needs a little bit more okay so I would like to see for his second upgrade I would like to see this bumped up to 25 percent cav attack and 15 percent march speed that's what I would like to see I think that would make him hit a little bit harder and make him a little bit faster in the open field and I think that that would be really solid I don't think again he's already a decent commander so he doesn't need anything crazy but that would be good next up for Genghis Khan man this is this this commander feels like a lost cause to me I think a second relic upgrade should bring him up to 30 percent cavalry defense and 300 active skill damage factor that's going to make his active skill deal 2000 direct damage and he also with his expertise I believe has the chance to proc that active skill more often and the fact that I forgot what his expertise is just goes to show how little I even talk about this commander but yes there's a 30 percent chance of casting a second time so if they bump this up to two thousand and you got the double hit I mean it would be it's still a worse version of Joan of Arc but like it's it's fine I think it's fine but 30 percent defense is greatly needed he needs the bonus tanky stats for sure moving on to Alexander the Great this is another one of those relics that I actually feel like didn't do enough and I know that that might be kind of controversial because a lot of people run Liu Che with Alexander the Great I just I don't know what it is guys but I just I can't seem to make him work for me and I feel like he's just a little too squishy that's how I feel uh, truly I, I think that's the case so what I would like to see for an Alexander the Great Relic would be to bump this 10 percent infantry defense up to 25 percent give it a really nice bump there and then bump the normal damage reduction from three percent to five percent just give it a nice little nudge in that direction okay but really the infantry defense I think would be really nice unfortunately I would have much rather had seen infantry health here I don't know why they gave him defense he already has defense the legendary gear for infantry give you a bunch of defense so I don't know why they gave him more defense but I'd like to see a really solid bump in this relic for Alexander the Great and 
again just like with a potential relic for Guan Yu I feel like a really good relic for Alexander the Great will give players more faith in their older investments right it'll make them feel like okay well yes I invested in Alex but now that he's got a really good relic he's not completely like you know on the bench right because for me I run two infantry armies and I don't run Alexander the Great and if I ran three infantry armies I probably still let me think I probably still wouldn't run him right I don't know maybe I would I would have to think about that a little bit longer but let's make Alexander the Great actually great again next is Constantine and I think if they gave him a bump here what I would like to see is bring him up to 25 percent infantry attack just give him a little bit more here but bring the normal damage up to 15 percent really crank the normal damage on him because he really like at this point he's a punching bag he's always been a punching bag and yes he's kind of tanky in the garrison but can you imagine a Gorgo Constantine garrison if he had 15 percent more normal damage I'd like to see them really lean into that and see what happens I think that would be really great and could we possibly see him run with Liu Che in the open field if he actually gave you a nice chunk of normal damage I mean it's possible unlikely but it's possible and at, at least at the very least it would be a very supportive Liu Che in the open field and I think that that would be really useful I would like to see Constantine be a little bit more useful in the open field and also with that little bump he would be an even more formidable garrison with Gorgo next is Tamiris and I actually think her relic is already really solid I think that they should bump this up to 20 percent archer health and 15 percent March speed that's that's what I'm thinking now I know that's a pretty small bump maybe you could argue 25 percent health and 15 percent March speed or 20 percent health and 20 percent March speed that would be really interesting right especially because like I said earlier archers are feeling really slow right now so that would be interesting but again I feel like Tamiris's relic is solid her as a commander solid so I don't think she really needs anything like super busted and any amount of bump to both like these are both probably the most important stats for archers anyway so any amount of bump here is going to make her even more usable with things like Herman Prime as the secondary right that is Tamiris as the secondary to Herman Prime next let's talk about Edward of Woodstock what would I like to see uh this bumped up to well first of all I think Edward really needs a better relic he I mean like this relic is just not enough I'd like to see them give him 15 percent archer defense okay just a small bump in the defense but give him 500 active skill damage factor right so increase this by 350 for a total of 500 skill damage factor and I think that that would be really nice right because the thing with Edward if we come into Edward's kit here the thing about him is that his rage requirement is so high for a you know I mean this is worse than than Huo right and Huo has the chance to cast for less than a thousand rage so it's like I don't understand what like what is going on here right and also he has he loses 300 rate like it, it makes no sense to me um his active skill is so bad that he's basically unusable but if you bumped it up by 500 that would make it 3000 which at least it would be the highest single target damage in the game and then you could at least sort of justify a higher rage cost but then the other interesting thing is that if he were secondary then he would deal 1750 okay and if he dealt 1750 as secondary then maybe people would actually consider running Edward as a secondary commander right I mean he's already got 30 percent March speed and 30 percent health I also gave him 15 percent Archer defense plus he has a 25 percent skill damage bonus I mean his kit isn't like horrible and if he was usable as a secondary he'd be really fast and pretty tanky so I don't know I would see I would say give him a bunch more give him a bunch more skill damage here and see what happens and finally I guess we'll talk about Wu Zetian um her relic isn't even in the game yet so like I I believe they confirmed and it's been so long that I can't even remember so I don't want to mess this up but I'm pretty sure they confirmed some amount of attack and skill damage for Wu Zetian I can't think off the top of my head the official source for that so I'm not gonna mention it here but what I would like to see for a double relic of Wu Zetian would be 30% generic attack and 15% skill damage I think that that would be a really solid bump in in relic for her and even then though like I still don't think that she's that good I mean her skill damage is just it her skill damage is just so pathetic that I I don't know I don't know if there's really anything they could do to make Wu Zetian usable anymore now the last thing I want to mention here is do you think that we'll get a third tier of relic upgrade for these commanders I think that we should I think a lot of the early game commanders are very weak now let me just be honest like Martel and Minamoto and Mehmed like these commanders don't I don't think they necessarily need a third relic upgrade tier but I think commanders like Julius Caesar Frederick Barca Charlemagne for sure I think those guys do and so 
I think the gold key commanders should get a third relic tier upgrade. Now, what would this actually look like? Would it be a further bump in their stats? I don't think so. Um, I think what they should do for the third relic tier, if they do ever add one is give them a third smaller buff, right? And then they could make it, they could use that, that opportunity, that third, that third new buff. They could either, you know, make it so it's pretty weak for commanders that already have a really solid relic, or they, they could make that third buff really strong for commanders that really need it like Charlemagne right I think this would give them more flexibility to make these relics a bit more balanced and I think it would be a nice like capstone right so my vision for the relic system I think is season one commanders should go up to a three relic upgrade I think season two commanders should go up to a two relic upgrade and I think any other relic after that if they go towards season three and beyond I think they probably should only get a single relic tier upgrade because those commanders are already good right and then let's say a year or two years from now if they need to they could bump it up again but I think that a a third relic tier upgrade for season one commanders should be the ceiling and I think they should use this as an opportunity to give them a third stat whether it's a stat bonus or bonus to skill damage or whatever the case is I think they should do that and I think that that would be really cool now I'm not going to go through all the season one commanders and tell you guys what I think their third relic upgrade should be because honestly this video is already long and we're really entering into the speculation weeds at this point I think it's reasonable to assume that season two commanders will get a second relic upgrade I don't know if it's as reasonable to assume that season one commanders will get a third relic upgrade because we I mean they, there's no real precedent for that but I think they will that's just my opinion I think they will add a third relic upgrade for these if for no other reason than because these currency can be bought in the shop right so like at some point players are just going to stop spending this and I think that if they gave players a new incentive then maybe they would so I don't know I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section below do you think that season one commanders should get a third relic upgrade also what do you think about what I projected for the season three commander relics and the season two commander relics do you agree with what I've said do you disagree what would you like to see let me know in the comment section below and again while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.